Today's video is very exciting because I get to share with you my most addictive fragrances right now. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you've never seen one of these videos from me, I do them every month. And in them, I give you the five fragrances that I cannot get enough of. So sometimes that means I've worn them a lot. Sometimes that means I just can't stop smelling them. And sometimes that means I have to stop myself from wearing them. I always limit these videos to five fragrances only because I like to keep my intentions pure because honestly, I love so many fragrances in my collection that I could just go hand with picking things that I can't stop smelling. So I limit these videos to five to keep it like really what I can't get enough of right now. Does that mean they're my all time favorite fragrances? No, they're the fragrances that I've just been loving for the moment. <laughs> so first up is one that I almost didn't include in this video because I think I included this in one of these videos probably like two months ago or maybe three months ago. And I don't like to share the same things over and over, but I felt like I would be lying if I didn't put it in this month's video again. So this is Killian Princess. This is an oldie, but for some reason, I've been back into it, y'all. I have been back into it hard. I think ever since I knew they were coming out again or they were re-releasing this in different packaging, it kind of made me pull for it again. And particularly this month, I took it out of town with me. And before I took it out of town, I was loving it. After I came back from out of town, I've still been wearing it as well. So I definitely needed to mention it. This is a beautiful kind of fluffy marshmallow scent. It kind of smells like powdery marshmallow. There is a green tea note in this as well that kind of gives it this herbal quality. And there is a bit of ginger in this fragrance as well. But I will say that the ginger to me just gives it some zing. It doesn't stand out too much, but it definitely makes the scent a little bit different as does the green tea note so it's beautiful y'all this is so beautiful it's fluffy it's lightweight you can wear this any time of year but i thoroughly enjoy wearing this to bed <laughs> i love wearing it to bed i wear it out as well like at night but i really like it for bedtime it just feels so cozy and comforting but it's also a little bit sexy it's just it's just perfect y'all it's perfect this is a lighter wearing scent so even though it's hot i could definitely wear this during the day as well but i typically don't to be completely honest so again that is killian princess this next fragrance is one that i've had for a while but i have to tell you this spring summer i hadn't been wearing it that much until i took it on a short trip with me at the end of july and been loving it so this is killian apple brandy on the rocks and i don't know if y'all can tell but look at this dent look at this dent this is where my juice is that is saying a lot for me because i don't use up fragrances i have too many of them like i never use up fragrances but oh, it's so good this is so good so to me, I know it's called apple brandy on the rocks and I do kind of get that apple brandy type smell. Definitely, it's there. But there's also this citrus element to it and it also smells slightly minty at the opening of the fragrance. I don't know if that's just me. I'm pretty sure there's no mint note in this. But when I smell it, it smells kind of fresh, effervescent and citrusy minty when you first spray it. As you wear it, the apple brandy notes kind of come out, but it never is like a heavy scent. It's not an overpowering scent. I actually think this fragrance works best in warm to hot weather. I just think that it works better with my skin. And I just love the smell of this. It's quite unique in my opinion, but it just smells so good. Like I cannot stop smelling this one, y'all. I cannot stop smelling it. I do wish this performed a little bit better. Like I wish I could smell it on myself a little bit more, but honestly, it just smells so good that I'll make the exception, y'all. I will overspray, 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 respray <laughs> because it just smells that good. And when I use this up, which I feel like could be uh, coming up soon, y'all, I will be buying the refill for this. All the Killian bottles are refillable. Well, except for like this one, but um, 
all of the other Killian bottles are refillable. So if you have these fragrances, you can buy the refill for a little bit less money than you paid for the original one. And then you just get to keep the same bottle and refill the fragrance, which I absolutely love. So I think a refill would be in my future sometime soon because I can see myself wearing this a lot more throughout the next couple months as well because I think it'll work great for fall too here anyway we don't get too cold here for fall so I think I'll be wearing this for the next couple of months as well and I just I haven't been able to get enough of it y'all I have not been able to get enough this is a compliment getter for me as well I feel like every time I wear it somebody compliments me even though it's not like the strongest scent people just enjoy it on me so again that is apple brandy on the rocks by Killian this next fragrance is one that was sent to me but I have been enjoying it so much that I, it had to be in this video so this is cream chiffon from house of siage take a look at that bottle y'all look at that bottle i love it i know it's not everybody's cup of tea but i love this bottle so anyway besides the bottle the fragrance is beautiful so this to me smells like a very kind of fluffy whipped cream type scent with some lemon in there or some sort of citrus to me it smells like lemon although i'm not sure that lemon is the actual note it smells like a lemon meringue type scent in my opinion. It's quite light and airy and fluffy feeling and I've been enjoying this to wear to bed a lot. I've actually worn it out quite a bit as well and every time I wear this, although it is a very light scent, I get compliments on it. It's so weird because it's not, it's not heavy at all but maybe it's different enough that it stands out to people is what I'm assuming but it's gorgeous it's an easy wear for me and if you like sweet scents and you like gourmand scents but you don't want anything too heavy I think this would work out really nicely so I would definitely recommend this it's not super long lasting it's not super rejecting so if that's important to you you have been warned <laughs> But it smells so good that I do not mind reapplying this. So again, this is Cream Chiffon from House of Siage. So sorry if my lighting or anything changed. My battery actually died, so I had to switch that out. And it's always hard to get it like right back at the very same settings. <laughs> so if it looks a little bit different, that's why. But anyway, back to these fragrances. The next one that I have to share with you is one that I was late on the game to, but I'm glad I have discovered it now. This is Angel Nova from Mugler or Mugler somebody commented on my last video can I please can I please pronounce it right <laughs> and I was like you know what I try to pronounce things right in general like I just try to but I've heard it so many different ways so I looked at the pronunciation and I've seen it a couple different ways so obviously the French way I can't really say but I've seen or I've heard it pronounced Mugler and Mugler as far as the Americanized way to pronounce it. So I'm gonna go with Mugler, so I'm sorry if that offends you, <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna go with. That's like the American pronunciation and Mugler just doesn't feel right on my lips. Um, I would have to force that, so FYI. <laughs> anyway, Mugler, Angel Nova. <laughs> this is the EDP, the original one they came out with. I was late to the party on, but I'm at the party now and I have been enjoying this. This is just such a joy to wear. This is a juicy scent when I smell it. So when I smell this, I get like a juicy, but also a little bit tart raspberry. And there are some floral notes in this as well, maybe rose that kind of adds like that floral sweetness to it. But mainly I get like a juicy fruity type scent. There's also a little bit of depth to this fragrance, so something woody in the background, but I really just feel like that helps to ground it and gives it a little bit more something than just like a basic fruity floral scent. I love this, y'all. It is so good. It smells so good on my skin. It performs really well. I get compliments on this, and I just really enjoy wearing this. When I smell, when I wear this, I feel like I just smell really good and really feminine, and I just thoroughly enjoy wearing this. So I'm glad I picked this up because I cannot get enough of this. I haven't had it that long, probably like a month or so, but I've worn it probably about four times now, so I feel like that's a lot. Yeah. I've been loving this. So again, that is Angel Nova from Mugler. So this last fragrance is one that I typically reach for in the colder months, but for some reason, I decided to reach for it a couple weeks ago. And since I reached for it then, I can't get enough, y'all. I cannot get enough. So this is Mancera Choco Violet. Now, I have to admit, I've only been wearing this at home because it is quite a heavy, sweet scent. So this to me smells like 
chocolate. Like it is sweet milk chocolate. And you can definitely smell the violet as well. And it kind of just makes it smell a little bit less edible. But to me, it, it just goes. It just goes. Like, it just goes. <laughs> I love this. I never really hear people talk about this. But it is absolutely stunning in my opinion. It is a Mancera fragrance. So like most of them, it does have some oomph to it. So this is not one I overspray. It lasts well and it projects well. But like I said, I've only been wearing it at night because I feel like it's too thick and sweet for me to wear during the day right now. But it's good, y'all. It is good. The first night that I wore this recently, I sprayed this on after my shower, went downstairs, and I was like, man, I smell so good. Like, I just could not stop smelling myself. My husband just looks at me like I'm crazy, but I'm like, I just smell good. I, I don't care what you say. I smell good. Like, this smells so freaking good. Another thing I want to mention is that if you have been wanting Guerlain Gourmand Coquine and you haven't been able to get your hands on it or that's out of your price range, check this one out. It's not a dupe. It's not a dupe. But they are definitely in the same family. I actually did a battle video featuring this fragrance and Gourmand Coquine and some other fragrances that I'll try to link for you. Um, it's probably been a couple years ago, but I'll link that video for you all if you're interested. But if Gourmand Coquine is on your radar, but you don't want to pay the money for it, um, check this one out. You can find Mancera fragrances for a lot less expensive. Like this four ounce bottle, you can probably get for under $100 if you're comfortable with shopping like the discounter websites. But even if you're not comfortable shopping discounter websites and you want to just pay retail, I think these retail for like $180, but it's for a four ounce bottle. So keep that in mind. So good. This is delicious. Delicious. Edible. Ah, so good. I can't get enough. I cannot get enough. I might wear this to bed at night again. Like I just cannot get enough of it. So again, <laughs> that is Mancera Choco Violet. So those were my most addictive fragrances right now. Let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances I mentioned. Also in the comments, let us know the fragrance that you have not been able to get enough of over the past month. We always like to share in these videos and I love to read you all's comments. And I think they're helpful for other people that are watching the video too. So definitely leave your comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I typically upload videos three times a week. So make sure you have that notification bell on as well so that you don't miss an upload from me. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Let's be friends over there. Let's kick it over there. We keep it real chill and relaxed over there. So definitely check me out on Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.